this is a results-based business, right? And the results here are clearly not good. I mean, every where you want to point a finger at, there's fault, whether it's, you know, uh, the players on the field doing their job, whether it's the coaches coaching them up to be the best they could be or the play calling or, you know, even the defensive coordinator recently resigned. I mean, there's just mess everywhere. On top of it, you know, you're starting to add up more mistakes on Ryan Poles' resume rather than successes. And, you know, we've talked about how even if a GM just hits on 50% of them, he's a good GM. Well, it's starting to kind of lean a little bit towards the more failure side of things. The first question I have for you guys is we're truly to believe that, you know, things are going to be different, then the McCaskies need to take their hands off a little bit. And if Kevin Warren is hired to do his job, will the Bears fire Matt Eberflus during the season? Could this be the first time in their entire existence that they actually let the president make uh, the choice and cut this thing early? Or do they write it out to the end of the year? To answer the question specifically, if Kevin Warren is to be expected to do his job as a team president, this next 10 games is going to be exactly your example of whether or not ownership can overpower a presidency of Kevin Warren. And I have a few tenants in sports that I believe in. And one of the big ones that Paulie doesn't agree with me on is that nothing really changes with your franchise until ownership changes. And I personally big time believe that until ownership changes and the people from the top to the bottom change nothing's ever really going to change and he gives me a lot of examples where he's right and it doesn't matter and i can give him a lot of examples where it does matter in this specific case it will tell you everything because if kevin warren is hired to be team president and he was in charge of a conference in college football that rivals you know one specific team in the nfl like the big 10 is a is a multi-billion dollar conference, multiple teams and colleges and scholarships and coaches and controversies. This man can run one NFL team, I guarantee it. If his decision is to fire Matt Eberflus and or Ryan Poles by game six or game eight, you need to let him do that. If there's in any way, shape or form a hint of McCaskey interference, and Kevin Warren is not allowed to fire them, then you have a problem that will never go away until the McCaskies go away.